Oh, you're a base, Chris. But it's so small. Yes, that's what she said. All your base, Chris, here with a review of the GPD Micro PC. Very, very cool little unit. Very little. This is a standard size banana. I have big hands, so that's no good frame of reference. And here we have the GPD Micro PC itself. This particular model has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, an Intel N4100 processor, and a 6-inch 720p display. And it's, it's really cool. So let's have a quick look at the unit itself. As you can see, it's got nearly as many ports as Finland. It has micro SD, USB 3, Ethernet, USB-C for charging or for connecting USB-C peripherals, things, two USB 3 ports that sometimes are in focus, a full-size HDMI port and an RS-232 jack. Fantastic stuff. Let's open her up. Do, 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 do. As you can see, we have a keyboard, fairly non-standard layout, but considering the size of the unit, it's not terrible to use. I wouldn't want to write any essays on here, but for basic stuff and logging into websites and passwords, it's really, really good. Screen itself is nice and crisp, obviously very high pixel density due to the small size of the screen. So even though it's 720p, it's pretty nifty. So what can you do with this? Well, you can do quite a lot of things, actually. It's capable of running all of the Office suite of applications. It's uh, pretty good for emulation, flawless Amiga stuff, which I'm going to demonstrate shortly. It uh, can do all consoles generally, up to about PlayStation 1, and it'll run some older games as well, if that's your oeuvre. I can also run Adobe Premiere on here, although it complains the screen res is too low, and I can run um, or Adobe Audition. So this actually fits into my workflow. It has a fairly annoying high-pitched fan. It doesn't get too hot, but the, the fan handles the cooling pretty well. But if it does annoy you and you're recording, you can actually switch this button to turn the fan off entirely, which obviously causes the unit to heat up, but it's still pretty good. Having the full-sized uh, HDMI on there means you can plug this directly into a monitor and use this as a normal desktop PC. Yeah, I, I, I've got to say, fresh. Oh, it also has a headphone jack. It's a very brave of that to have a headphone jack, I have to say. Uh, yeah, function keys, uh, it runs full Windows 10 Pro, fully updatable, and I've used that and based uh, UMPCs before in the past, and I have to say that the performance was lacking. This, however, feels really, really snappy. Let me fire up Google Chrome. As you see, performance is pretty good. And of course, our favorite channel of all time, YouTube. We are slightly hampered by the fact that my Wi-Fi in my conservatory isn't brilliant, but uh, as you can see, it's it's fairly responsive. Scrolling's okay. You can do um, two-finger scrolling on the touchpad, and it actually does work if you have it in the right place. <laughs> it's it's um, it's very very usable. So I'm going to use this. Uh, I do have gigs in. I'm going to use this to control my mix and desk, and uh, I'm going to use it to edit stuff on the fly if need be, put playlists together, that sort of thing. And uh, I also use it for a bit of sneaky Amiga emulation. So I'm going to show you how that works right now. Okay, so here we are ensconced in my kitchen. I'm going to do a reach around. <laughs> and I'm going to fire up Amiga forever. So the screen's obviously very, very small. But just for a, a laugh, let's fire up Shadow of the Beast. Oh. Yes. Don't be so mean. Speaker's loud, if not very nice. Has that slightly rattly thing about it. There we go, Shadow of the Beast. Using Amiga Forever for this because it's it's really easy to configure. Uh, normally I'd use something like Mega AGS or WinUAA or anything, but just for the speed, I quite like Amiga Forever for this because you can literally throw an LHA file at it. Oh, there's the uh, floppy disk emulation sounds. You can literally throw uh, an LHA file at it and it will just organise it and it'll just boot it.
I'm going to uh, unclip myself. percent so you go and uh, hold down escape and you can now jump straight back into windows so yeah amiga emulation uh, it does like console emulation as well if you're into that sort of thing you can also run some fairly older titles for example, I'm going to fire up the Cyberpunk Classic System Shock 2. Let me just bring this back up. There we go. Honestly, the speaker's really loud. It's quite funny. Obviously, the screen isn't a touch screen. And it is fairly reflective. Microphones up for by my lapel. Yeah, so, I mean, Half-Life 2 will run. This will run. You can run some slightly more modern 2D indie titles. Although, you know, don't count on it. This really isn't a gaming machine. It's a productivity beast. Obviously, having all of the ports means you can hook it straight up to a monitor, um, a keyboard, and use it as a desktop PC. And I have done, and it does run really, really well. So, where can you get these? You can't. Ha! These are pretty rare, actually. Um, you can get them from a few places, like you can get from droidx.co.uk, uh, where I've got my um, RGB315V emulation thing. Uh, you can get them from there still, but uh, yeah, build quality, right. I've heard some horror stories about these. You can, um, you get issues with batteries. Uh, sometimes you have issues with uh, rotation of the screen. Personally, in my experience, I haven't had this unit particularly long, but I've had none of the issues so far. And uh, I feel like it's actually really solidly built. So, yeah, um, hinge seems okay. Fairly solid construction. I wouldn't want to like drop it from a height or anything, but it's okay. And obviously, the plastic itself, it's fairly tough to, uh, feeling. Price-wise, um, 300 plus, I believe. But, uh, you know, find out where you're getting from and where you go. Yeah, overall, I'm really quite impressed with this. I have a, a legitimate use case for this. So, uh, again, I will be using it for work. I'm always on the go. And carrying a laptop around sometimes isn't particularly practical. Uh, when I'm going into certain venues, but something like this will fit into a very small bag or will go in my gig bag and I don't need to worry about it getting damaged because of the, the very chunky uh, and rugged feel of it. While um, I normally use another laptop, which I will show you. So this is the machine that I've been using and this, this is what's going to replace that uh, in my workflow as, in fairness, the performance on this doesn't feel quite as snappy as that because this has a slightly underpowered processor, but it does have 4K display. So yeah, there we go. The GPD Micro PC. Fantastic bit of kit. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to get one of these unless you actually need to get one of these. There's no legitimate use cases for it unless you know exactly what you want it for. Do not just pick one of these up to play with. This is the sort of thing that you have to know what it is, what it can do and what you want it for. There is a refreshed version. This is not it. The refreshed version has the N4120 uh, processor, so it's 10% faster and comes with 256 gigabyte of storage as standard. Again, take the screws out at the bottom here. Those five screws uh, either side and you can access the SSD and replace it. It's a fairly easily re user replaceable part. These holes here are for mounting this to a plate or a vase mount if you want to have this as a permanent installation somewhere. So anyway, I've been Audio Base Chris. Please enjoy. Uh, give us a like and subscribe. Really impressed I've passed the 666 mark. So now I know that YouTube isn't evil. Take care of yourself. See you soon and goodbye.